Good morning, folks. Today we're going to look at earthquakes, a tsunami, news in the sky, ionosphere, and deep space. But as plasma leaves the sun at 171 angstroms, it's best to start here, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, looking at the last 24 hours on our star. While it is a calm disk, we can indeed already see the northern coronal hole coming in. All eruptive features have remained stable, that is at least on the Earth-facing position. The southern departing filaments indeed destabilized and erupted, but did so far away from our planet's direction. Solar wind is still low in intensity, but in blue, the phi angle, that shift indicates the southern coronal hole stream is about to impact Earth, and when that happens we should expect geomagnetic unrest and possible low-level storm conditions. You know that until the stream arrives, we're looking for big quakes, and our hope of yesterday was dashed as big quakes continued hitting the western Pacific, the largest of which, a 6.6 .6 aftershock to the 6.8 we reported yesterday, did produce a small tsunami, but it was just a few inches high. Folks, I wanted to share the sunset view I got of high-altitude vehicle trails. These are at cirrus height or higher, still illuminated by the sunlight over the horizon, are not the shape of any natural cloud, and had shifting color profiles amidst the particles, which I'm guessing was ice. If anyone knows of tests or drills done west of Albuquerque yesterday evening, please let us know. Perhaps you've seen Carmen vortices on satellite or other photos, and this works in water, too. There's a terrific article out on how the vortex swirls behind the cylindrical vector blocker can be powerful enough to take down buildings and resonate power lines. Linked for you below. Up next, let's jump way out to merging galaxy clusters 5 billion light years away. Interesting, the shockwaves and radio and connection between the merging units in Chandra's X-ray leaves us with a composite showing how a plasma bridge is building between the merging clusters, just like when any two celestial objects approach. Last but not least, the Icon Mission video here is something you've likely seen before, but the difference is that it was all based on guesses and models, and now those models are getting based on real data. It's developing. If you didn't know, the least well-known but potentially most important electromagnetic feature of Earth is the low L-shell plasma tubes and the twin current density blocks that chase the sunlight round the planet. Someday, their importance for tropical storms and earthquakes will be revealed. Last two days, there have been earthquake notifications and a health alert through the app. Today, we do expect an alert to go out due to the coronal hole stream impact that is just a few hours away. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got the wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.